Hey guys, how we doing? So we're back in another Next Taco video and I'm really excited for this one because this is an Honest Anime Descriptions video but it's not just any Honest Anime Descriptions video it's an Honest, honest Anime Descriptions video that Nux Taco has been telling everyone he's going to be doing for a while now This is every Hokage in Naruto Slash Baruto <laughs> So the one in Baruto um, This is going to be cool um, The Naruto Honest Anime Descriptions that he does uh, or has done in the past have just been absolutely amazing They're my favourite thing and uh, this is going to be awesome Now this is every Hokage in Naruto slash Bruto. One thing I want to mention, because I've noticed a lot of YouTubers seem to ignore somebody whenever they really talk about the Hokages, and that's Danzo. Never seems to get any love. I know, he wasn't a very nice person, but he was still Hokage. He still had the role, and people seem to ignore him for some reason. So, hopefully Nux has got the brains to uh, throw him in there, because, yes, again, he wasn't a nice person, but he still had the role, and uh, he was Hokage. Anyway, oh god, drop my pen, don't need it. Let's get into this. Every Hokage in Naruto slash Naruto. Honest anime descriptions. It's been a while, fan base, but at long Yay. last, welcome to the honest descriptions of every Hokage. Yay. Not only, I kind of don't want to do this video because I get such great pleasure having comments on every single one of my videos saying, where's the honest descriptions of the Hokage? <laughs> I mean, I upload these 38 minute long documentary videos yes. that say, yeah, but it's not an honest description of the Hokage. <laughs> so here's your honest description on the Hokage. And All now right. that it's finally here, I'm sure everyone's going to be super salty about the epic levels of honesty that will be seeping through here. Time to work out your wrists, though. Get some lotion on your right hand, mm. you know? Start typing to get me to start working on the honest descriptions of every Kage that I also promised. Ha 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 ha. Best fake laugh of all time. But anyway, <laughs> if you are new here and you don't know what an honest description oh, is, gosh. I will be honestly describing the characters. Pretty self-explanatory, right? Well, kind of, because kind the of. honest definitely has air quotes around it. Oh, and you will yeah. soon see why. <laughs> oh, and Fan base, I've gotten to know you already, so if you stop requesting honest descriptions on every Hokage just because I'm actually doing that video, I will be very disappointed in your art of the meme, That's which funny. I thought I'd at least honed to some degree. But anyhow, I believe it makes sense to start with the first Hokage, yes. Hashirama Senju. Not Hashirama. to be confused with the Yu-Gi-Oh card he was based off of, Senju with Thousand Hands. Oh, wow. I know, I know, common mistake, but bear with me. I hear all the time <laughs> people confused. telling me, Yo, Nux, you do realize that Kishimoto's a terrible writer. He has no idea what he's doing, and he pulls things out of his ass all the time. And I tell them, what? Just just look at Hashirama. How can you say that if you have a character like him in the damn series? Yeah. As we know, there are plot holes everywhere, or at least seemingly plot holes, that the anti naruto community seem to think exist. They don't yeah. realize that all yeah, those you. plot holes are not actually plot holes. All those characters just have Hashirama cells, and that's it. Millions of Zetsu, Zetsu's popping up with no make sense. Don't worry, Hashirama cells. Obito getting most of his body completely squashed under a rock, and all of a sudden he's totally fine and better than ever. Hashirama cells, man. <laughs> Danzo being able to use Shisui's shouting on once a day instead of once every ten years. Oh my god, it's like you don't even watch the show. <laughs> Hashirama cells. <laughs> People just don't seem to realize if you suck this guy's dick enough, you become immortal literally and figuratively. I don't need to go through all the awesomeness of his <laughs> cells and stuff, but if you ever have a plot hole, oh, you know, try to god. plug in the magic Kishimoto formula. Is it hashirama -able? Well, if it is, then it ain't a plot hole. I can't believe people go ape shit on the guy when clearly into the narrative oh of Naruto, God. he's included the ultimate anti-plot hole formula. Then a lot of people come and say, but Nux, you do realize Kishimoto didn't really think of that ahead of time. He just kind of pulled it out of his ass later. As we know, it said that Kakuzu fought the first Okage when clearly Kakuzu would have been completely destroyed by the guy. And to that I say, Kakuzu's a bad guy and bad guys lie. Maybe Kakuzu <laughs> yeah. wasn't telling the truth. Yes, not an amazing cover-up, I understand. But at the same time, it says Kagazu fought him, not Kagazu beat him. Just like best genist from Hero Academia can say, well, I fought all for one. Yes, if he would say that, it would remain ambiguous as to what he meant. Yes, obviously, that's if he very true. Actually fought all for one, and he would have talked about the result. He did fight all for one, but he got his ass kicked. All for one destroyed. <laughs> but this way, we can at least give all for one some credit to say that he fought best genist. Mm -hmm. Not a great example, I understand, because while all for one has all the quirks, best genist has <laughs> all the genes. 
So, not really much of a match up here. Obviously, Bez Genius would whoop his ass. But moving on, more plot holes that a lot of people want to shove into the Naruto series when they saw how powerful Hashirama actually was, was if Hashirama is so strong, like, so strong that he could literally take on all the other four nations at the same time, that's how strong he is, and yes, he probably could. Yes. I mean, Twakage, where, where's my man? Yo, get on that. <laughs> Hashirama versus the other four nations at the time. I oh, God, that Twakage, you're amazing. Man, I'm sorry, it'll be a very short video <laughs> Hashirama would destroy their faces. But any hooser, a lot of people discredit Kishimoto, trying to say Hashirama mm. was so powerful at the time. Why was there even wars? He should have easily been able to amass Just all of the face, tail face. beasts, <laughs> been the ultimate force on the planet, and there should have been complete peace. And to the people saying that, well, he did amass all the tail beasts. And then, probably because he was afraid that there would be, like, complete peace or something, we don't want that, God forbid, he decided, hey, let's give out tail beasts to all the nation so we yeah. can all be more powerful now. So everyone so, has one. So we can't all be in peace, and instead we have to all have our individual fighting forces so we can fight for the next four generations. This is, like, one of the greatest ideas in all of anime. Code Geass with its fancy plots on trying to make peace. Hero Academia making the symbol of peace part of its narrative. Saving people with a smile. Someone that people could put their Stupid. hope on their ideas. shoulders. <laughs> what morons. Yeah. You should just give nukes to every nation on the planet and bam, everyone will be happy. Seems like the kind of thing Trump will do. Seems like the kind of thing Trump will do. Well, enough of the various plot holes and inconsistencies regarding Hashirama. I'm up like five minutes and I'm still in the first Hokage. Oh Don't my quote, God. I'm still in the first Hokage, please. Talking about people being in the first Hokage, you know how everyone in Naruto communities, oh they're God. like, yo, I ship Naruto x Sakura. And they're like, what? Naruto x Sasuke for Laifu. And Kishimoto's like, middle figured all you guys he's going out with hinata you know soccer yeah. bitch from episode one and everyone's like yay that's what we actually always wanted yeah right but after much research as far as people's favorite ship in the entire naruto franchise probably sasuke x bakugo i don't know how bakugo's shipping what the hell? Is the naruto so fandom, but my personal favorite ship in all of anime possibly is summed up beautifully by these two side by side manga panel Oh, oh just try to tell me that's a coincidence. Even when Hashirama came back to life to fight Madara again, Madara ran up to him, begging him for to his fight, wood. Yeah. It's about damn time. I've been waiting, Hashirama. I'll deal with you later. <laughs> a beautiful romance writing. Two of the Ooh, greatest waifu troops in one scenario. We got her Sundere. And we got our yandere. Who is this cute little lesbian? And how <laughs> tight is her foot? God, I love shipping in Naruto. Still a better love story than Twilight. Am I right? Oh. Speaking of, feel free to pick up my new Hashirama X Madara. Still a better love story than Twilight merch. Link in description. And at long <laughs> last, at video. seven goddamn minutes into the video, I'm up to the second Hokage. All right. Yeah, fam, I'm going to start moving a little faster from this point forward. I'm just gushing over my favorite couple in all of anime, obviously. Oh. Oh my takes God. a little longer. Of course, feel free to subscribe if you're enjoying so far. Let's begin Hokage number two. Tobirama. Tobirama. I don't care what anybody says. He's probably one of my favorite characters in all of Naruto, and I'm the only person in the entire planet that seems to think so. The guy's like Me the too. Donald Trump of Hokage. You know, screw the Uchiha's. Build them walls. Then he wakes up, <laughs> reanimated a couple dozen years later, and sure wasn't easy <laughs> keeping a straight face that all the Uchiha's were massacred. But all that aside, this guy's badass enough to have invented every legendary jutsu in existence. Yes. <laughs> Izuna Uchiha has this crazy manga kyo shout again. Okay, I know how to get past this ultimate kinetic vision thing. <laughs> well, flying thunder god jutsu. Yes. Since he's always a grouchy fuck, no one wanted to deal with him. So, he'll make his own friend. So he invents the shadow clone jutsu. <laughs> he's proficient at water style, but he's in the land of fire. In other words, not a lot of water. He'll develop a way to make water style oh jutsu without water. God. He's like, the only thing that can piss me off now would be dying. So he invents the Ido Tensai, <laughs> only for it to revive him, as well as an entire fighting force to take down the great nations in the fourth ninja war. What a dude. Oh my I don't know, God. everyone makes fun of him. The weaker of the Senju brothers. Amazing. He has the coolest character design in the entire damn yeah, series. It's cool. White hair, white cloak, pale face, cool headband, almost as obsessed with the Uchiha's as Swag Kage in a slightly different way. And damn it, he's the only Hokage ever, never seen with the Hokage hat. But despite oh that, God. you know, everyone's trying to piss on my boy. You know, 
know, saying he's weaker than Kisame. He would lose to Kisame. There was even a versus battle. I totally forget the YouTuber who did it. Even though they claim that Toby Rama is the greatest water style ninja that ever lived, ever. Uh, he can do the flying thunder god jutsu. And he's stronger than Izuna Uchiha, which was the strongest MS Madara. Granted, a lot of people may not remember that Madara took out thousands of ninjas simultaneously in the ninja war without using I any remember. ocular jutsus. So I totally <laughs> forgive you on that. After all, this epic badass ninja, Toby Rama, who invented every forbidden jutsu known to mankind. And of course, he didn't worry that these jutsu would ever get in the wrong hands. <laughs> because after all, he labeled them forbidden jutsu. Mm -hmm. Duh. Was taken out by Kinkaku and Shminkaku. God damn it, why was he beaten by those Schmechers? They were borderline filler villains that they just popped out of nowhere villain, right? so Dari could have something to do during the war. Yeah, let's hype them up by saying, oh, they killed the second Hokage and beat him twice, in fact. Well, thanks, Kishimoto. Now my boy, Toby Rama's losing to Kisame in versus battles because of improper <laughs> plot points. But as we know, every improper plot point has to be taken literally for versus battles. Okay, but seriously, no hate on the Toby Rama versus Kisame thing. Kisame's pretty much a beast, too. So to finish off my honest description of the second Hokage, his catchphrase, make Konoha wait <laughs> again. It's the amazing. third Hokage, Hiruzen Sarutobi, the legendary Sarutobi ninja that in the early Naruto was claimed to be the strongest of the Kage. He has mastery of all five chakra natures. He fought Orochimaru, the first and second reanimated Hokages at the same oh God, time. Yeah, did, yeah. And with mastery of all these jutsus, he used incredible techniques like the legendary roof-style shuriken. Whoa! He was able to use the roof's tiles as shuriken. We all know how useful shuriken are, but there's more. I mean, while fighting Orochimaru, he used a vast Ooh, array of techniques, shuriken, like always. the shadow shuriken jutsu, where he threw one shuriken and it became like five shuriken. Oh my, oh my god. god. We know how useful shuriken are, but this is all to lull you in a false sense of security oh because god. the third Hokage is quite the genius tactician. Yeah. He sees Orochimaru summons the first and second Hokage at the same time from the dead, so he knows that the third coffin must be the fourth Hokage, so he shouts, I must stop him from summoning the fourth Hokage. Hokage? Fourth Hokage is the strongest of the Hokage! Uh, yeah, right. So, uh, how does he stop it? Well, <laughs> he throws Shuriken at the coffin and undoes the summoning. That's right, Sarutobi, a battle-weathered warrior. Amazing. And speaking of his ultimate techniques, let's not forget the legendary beast king, Enma. That's right, oh, that he summoned cool. a monkey to his side. And that monkey's greatest power is turning into a, a big staff. stick. You may be thinking, <laughs> hey, but every ninja can just make a scroll and summon big sticks out of their scroll. And yes, that is correct. But do realize that we're talking about a summoning jutsu here. Not any of those weak ass Danzo elephants or yeah. giant toad armies. This is a monkey that turns into a stick. Think of the possibilities. But his tail was not cut short when he sealed himself in his fight against oh, Orochimaru. God. That's right, he was revived for the final war along with the other Hokage, where My all God. of those other Hokage had super important things that they actually did. You know, putting up great fights and stuff. And uh, I vote that we honestly stop describing Yudazin here saying he tried. He tried that goes truly missed as far as understanding Hiruzen's character. He truly cares about the youth of his village. He even mm -hmm. called them his own children. Which is why he decided not to tell Naruto about his real dad, the fourth Okage. Yeah, if he would have actually said, you know, Naruto, uh, you know how Konohamaru's this spoils little shit just because he's the grandson of a Hokage? Well, guess who's the son of a Hokage that the whole village hates and would automatically start respecting and appreciating once they realize that his dad was a Hokage. Oh but no, he's my son. My son. Hell if I'm gonna lighten his burden by telling him about his real dad. <laughs> no. Oh, and who could forget that he gave power to Danzo to create the foundation? The worst, most useless yeah. anime organization of oh. all time that not only accomplished nothing, but did way more harm than good. Yeah. But I'll get back into that for Danzo's description. I mean, no, after all, he was a Hokage for like <laughs> a day. Hiruzen is definitely cool, a cool, clear-headed cool. leader. He knows exactly what to do and what to say to the public. Like, for example, when Itachi wiped out the whole Uchiha clan and now uh, all of a sudden Sasuke decides to make revenge his number one goal, instead of telling the village that Itachi saw they were planning a coup d'etat, so he wiped them out. No, no, he's not going to tell them that because that'll make them think uh, uh, poorly of, of oh, something. God. Okay, so it'll save Sasuke from darkness and, and basically becoming the next biggest threat to the village. It's way better to actually think that the Uchiha clan were all good 
people. That's yes. right, Third Hokage. Thank you for keeping Naruto and Sasuke in the dark of the truth of their pasts and ruining their lives. Very appreciated. Very Man, appreciated. could you imagine what would happen if they use the truth? Hokage, Minato, Namikaze. Not All to right. be confused with Kamikaze. It's not like he killed himself to accomplish what he tried to do or anything. No, no. Yes, yes. What? Either way, <laughs> Minato was such a badass. During the Third Great Ninja War, he was the only ninja that the enemy received orders to flee on sight. That's they knew they had no chance against this flying thunder god. Speaking of, that was his jutsu. The flying, flying thunder, thunder god. Basically the only thing he could do, but flying it's still so crazy overpowered, it could handily block a nine-tailed beast bomb and also instantly <laughs> annihilate any opponent. And everyone that's it's about to say, oh, but he has a Rasengan, awesome. think about it. If it was a kunai instead of a Rasengan, it would do exactly the, the same. same thing. In fact, <laughs> if it was a kunai instead of a Rasengan, Obito would be dead. Uh, but more hey, than that later. That's interesting. But let's call a spade a spade. This guy is a freaking beast. <laughs> he fought Toby. Yes, it's true. At that point, Toby should have only been like 15. And it was a tough fight, granted. But Minato took the W. Despite Toby still getting away and uh, causing the fourth great ninja war, killing hundreds of thousands of people. Something that wouldn't have happened if Minato decided to either use a kunai or... Or Sage Mode, but more on Sage Mode later. Mm. I mean, we can't exactly compare it to previous Okage, because you remember how Hashirama was able to control all the tail beasts at the same time, and then gave him away to, like, different villages and stuff? Well, one-on-one, -on -one, Minato somehow lost to the Nine Tails. You know, yeah. the creature that the first Okage fought while it was clad by a Susano used by Madara, and the first Okage God, still damn. beat the both of them like, no challenge! Not even breaking a sweat. I mean, kind of sad that that was necessary. But literally every other village had one or two of these tailed monsters, and they were totally fine with it. I mean, they claimed Minato was the strongest Kage at the time, and uh, Third Reich Kage was playing Mercy with the Eight Tails three times a week. Oh my God. <laughs> Kamapunta was as strong as Shukaku. Well, since he's a good husbando and he loved Kushino with his whole heart, he decided it would be a better move for them both to die, saving Naruto, yes. instead of just him dying and letting Kushino live and actually raise Naruto. Don't know why this was the plan. Pretty pathetic, if I do say so myself. But oh hey, <laughs> I don't understand the inner workings of their mind. I'm sure that there was an extremely logical explanation to this decision of their demise at this point. I don't know. But now, for the best of the series, we have... War arc, Minato. You know, the guy comes back, he can become a perfect sage, even though apparently he's not good at sage mode. Even yeah, he does he say that, doesn't he? You know, then it's just like, boom! That sage mode that he could have used to save the entire village before he sacrificed his life valiantly, but hey, hey, I don't question the tactical decisions. But now he also has half the Nine Tails chakra secretly sealed within him. So without doing any training and without going to that ultimate waterfall thingy that Naruto had to do for like 30 episodes, uh. he has full control over Kurama chakra mode knows how to use it and he's a freaking boss at it. No, you yeah. misunderstand my tone of voice. I'm not saying it's an ass pull plot hole. No! I'm saying look how badass Minato is. Yeah, he is wow. badass. And also look how powerful the nine-tailed fox is. We always thought Naruto was a full chinchuriki until we met Sora in Naruto Shippuden who actually had half of the nine-tails chakra Oh my god, I forgot about that for a little bit. And then we met Minato who actually had half of the nine-tails chakra inside of him. Wait. This only goes to show that Yes, there are three halves to the nine-tailed fox chakra. That's how badass this fox is. Ugh. Fifth Hokage, Lady Tsunade. The third Hokage knew it was not a good idea to appoint her That's as brilliant. the village leader. After the fourth Hokage died, even though the fourth Hokage is a generation younger than Tsunade, he decided to retake his position that he already retired from to make sure that Tsunade was not Hokage. This gambler bitch could not be a good candidate for the job. What a fool that man was. Yes. Obviously, she'd be perfect. Perfect to play strip poker with, that is. Luck of the devil, she always loses. I don't know, I kind of think she should make bets that her teammates will fail at missions so her teammates we'll cannot win. fail those missions. It would be amazing. The only one time she wins a bet, Jiraiya dies. Yeah, kind of great track record going on here. But if anyone thought it was a bad idea <laughs> to make this drunk gambler bimbo the Hokage, they don't know what they're talking about. She's just, you know, the greatest medical ninja in the world. Yeah. Yes, she's she's really good at it. <laughs> the worst periods ever. I mean, Naruto came back to the village and was like, Randy Tsunade, I lost my right arm. And she's like, oh, no problem. I'll have a replacement made for you in a week. Tops. 
and then guy breaks a leg, fuck him, wheelchair for life. It's funny we're making all these jokes, but at the same time, look at the amazing feats she's had as a Hokage. Extremely important mission for Shikamaru? Okay, man, only bring Genin. It's a great idea, I'm telling you. Not like it's the fate of the world or anything. Pain shows up to the Leap Village. Let's not use ultimate regeneration thing that makes her completely invincible while she still has chakra, and the fact that her slugs can absorb chakra from anywhere in the village and then transmit that chakra to her, making her virtually invincible. Let's not do that. <laughs> Let's just make the village a crater and give power to Danzo so he can screw up the universe. Now, there were no telltale signs of these slightly foolish acts before she became Okage to know that something was actually going to happen. You know, mm -hmm. when she drugged Jiraiya right before he fought Orochimaru because uh, she decided that would be a brilliant idea. Oh, she saw yes. someone close to her die, so she uh, totally dropped everything and was completely unfit for any form of duties. At least she's bound by, you know, honor. Not like it's even a possibility that a village leader would ever experience any kind of loss. Or the time where she decided to pick a fight with a 12-year-old Genin. Hmm, that was fun. Or the realization that if she can use ninjutsu to modify her uh, appearance, there's no reason why anyone else in the series can't do that either. Uh. The perfect candidate for the job. She saved the day a multitude of times. Oh, wait! She's a female character! That's why she hasn't done anything! She truly did train Sakura to be just like her! Oh On the my floor, god! She's a female character! We needed at least one of those as a Hokage! What do they call that? Diversity something? Nah, probably not. Next! Interim 6th Hokage! That's right, it's Danzo! All right. Not really gonna spend a lot of time here just because he didn't spend a lot of time as a Kage! All his life he wanted to be a Hokage, but since the third Hokage got the job instead of him, you know, the guy who uh, should have gotten the job, he was pissed at the world. So we developed ah, a foundation, an organization built to do absolutely nothing. Good news, it did absolutely nothing, so it accomplished its goals valiantly. Amazing. He did things like create monsters like Psy, created through killing their friends to show that they have no emotions. Because only someone with no emotions can use the Ninja Beast scroll. And then Enojin pops out in Boruto where Sai says, Oh, you need to have a lot of emotions to use the Ninja Beast scroll. Let's not get into that. Danzo did everything for the village because he truly cared about it. You know, mm -hmm. chased down Shisui because he cared about Shisui. Stole the Sharing Guns because he cared about the Uchiha. Decided not to use the Koto Amatsukami on Fugaku to stop the entire rebellion thingy. Oh, on Obito to stop the entire ninja war. And cause peace between oh, the nations yeah. because he cared about Fugaku when the nation Toby and the nine-tailed fox attacked the village during the time of the fourth Hokage he cared so much he wouldn't waste the foundation members to step in and help he did it to conserve the village's power he did it for the village as much as it hurt him when pain attacked the village and danzo didn't lift the finger even though he has izanami yeah that was because uh he decided conservation of energy was required in order to breach the war pro yeah it's because he cared about the village yeah, guys i can't believe so many people have issues with the guy god damn it danzo's like the most selfless character in the entire series how can anyone not like the guy do you have oh my any god idea how much Danza was suffering when he had no choice but for the good of the world cause destruction of the world people are just so blind to the burdens other people carry let that terrible. be a takeaway message terrible. from this video if you're gonna be a cunt at least be a selfless cunt <laughs> Kakashi Hatake, the oh, sixth right. Hokage. So, after the war was over, we elected him to be the leader. Because at this point, Tsunade was, uh, too lazy to continue. And, well, of course, Kakashi was perfect for the job. They knew he yes. was perfect for several reasons. Firstly, he carries porn in public. He won't be embarrassed to get his hands dirty. Fam, you must note that that was literally the greatest reason for him to become Hokage. Oh, you want to fight me on that point, do you? Very well. Let's look at his amazing feats until this point. Okay, so he isn't as strong as any of the previous Hokage. I right. mean, the first Hokage is a wee bit stronger, I think. And secondly, I think it's important to see his track record as far as wins and losses. Well, first opponent in the whole damn show was Zabuza. Yep. He lost the first time. Got oh, saved yeah. by a 12-year-old. Okay, next impressive feat we've seen from him, he was scared, shiteless, looking at Orochimaru. Orochimaru yeah. Okay, Orochimaru's a pretty strong guy. He got freaking annihilated by Itachi blinking at him. He was losing against Kakuzu, and Shikamaru saved him. He was losing against Kakuzu again, and Naruto oh, saved God. him. He lost to pain, and when I say lost, I mean <laughs> died. died. <laughs> Only even slightly important fight he won in the whole damn show was against Obito, and Obito let him kill him. Hell yeah, this is a track record I can get behind. Oh, as gosh. we know, Sir Kakashi has many other redeeming qualities that would make him Okage, even if his fight history is not <laughs> exemplary. As we know, he pushed 
pitched teamwork very strongly yep. for his squad, which is why his squad was the worst team out of all the squads in the entire tuning exams. Oh, yes, God. worse than Koronai's squad, worse than Asuma's, worse than Guy's, and okay, admittedly, maybe slightly better than Gaara and his siblings. So his major teaching oh, was definitely God. given to his students full force. As we know, he focused on teamwork. He obviously didn't focus on jutsus. Didn't teach Naruto and Sakura a single blasted jutsu in the entire series. Oh, so but he did teach Sasuke, Sasuke Chidori. Yeah. That's pretty beast, right? Right? In the middle of the tuning exams, when he abandoned his other two students to teach Sasuke because, uh, favoritism. Very important for a village leader, as we know. And everyone thinks they're cute. You can use these arguments to show maybe Kakashi's not the perfect candidate for a Hokage. But it just annoys me that no one realizes his true character development. Like an intellectual like I do. He started off as a character where everyone around him died. He wasn't strong yep. enough to protect Obito, to protect Rin, to protect the village. But he's grown. Kakashi has grown into a person that can truly, finally be relied on. Yes, in the fourth great ninja war, he finally had his time to shine. Where every single freaking thing he did was a plot hole so he could succeed. Yes, he was able to spam yes. Kamui, even though using it once before kills him. Even though Lightning Dog and Lightning Clone used up half his chakra against pain. Don't worry, he can spam lightning. Take down all seven swordmen in the mist. Screw Zabuza and Haku. Fight the Jinchuriki. Beat yes. Obito. Battle against Madara. Take chakra from a dead Obito to get a perfect Susano, basically making him the strongest living ninja at the yep. time, except for maybe Kaguya wasn't really this, a ninja. Yeah. Beat Kaguya, become Hokage. That's right. Kakashi has mastered the power of plot hole. Plot and whoever says Kakashi sucks clearly is not an intellectual like I who would you rather as your village oh my leader? God, it's oh, amazing. this person is a pretty powerful ninja. This person can heal you. Or this person can break the freaking plot to accomplish the impossible. Hell yeah, yes. I'll take Kakashi. Yes. Middle finger to the Kakashi yes. sucks cards. Link in the description <laughs> for my full Kakashi analysis, which is an amazing video. This is an honest description, so to be honest, it's probably one of the best Naruto videos on YouTube. Prove me wrong by going to watch it. <laughs> it is good. And at long last, oh finally, my God. we get to <laughs> the main of the They're seventh the and plot. final Hokage so far, Naruto. Okay, fine, I know Naruto. his name's not pronounced that way. I just wanted to see if I trigger anybody, but I could never actually go through with it. All right, fine. So Naruto, the seventh Hokage, is of course the strongest of all the mm -hmm. Hokage. Definitely a good choice for the job. So I had a whole page of notes. Wanted to go through how the number one knucklehead ninja would be the perfect selection to lead our village, and how, despite the fact that he is the only Hokage ever to rule the Lee village during a time of peace, peace. he still <laughs> apparently has so much work with his near infinite chakra levels he can't have one extra shadow clone to be a normal dad to his son he can give yeah. a detailed cloak to an entire army he can have thousands of naruto clones practicing rasen shuriken but no no a clone to do paperwork hell no oh anyway i wanted to get into that wanted to get into a whole bunch of other things and then i realized whoa our lord and savior lord twigo sama himself has placed into the rules of the honest descriptions that i may take one description per episode and not honestly describe it I I'm not making this up now. This is in the code. My and God. God damn, this is the best place to use it. Naruto has done so much amazing stuff throughout his time as a moron ninja that are more than enough to nitpick about and make fun of as far as being the leader to a village. And yes, I will skip all of it. Oh, you don't think I'm going to use the power here? You don't think I'm going to make this the description I'm going to skip? What hell? Believe it. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like and That's sub amazing. scribble if you're looking forward to my honest descriptions of every Kage, including Swag Kage. And you can trust me, I will not be using the skipping power on him. In the meantime, feel free to check out my in-depth stuff and other satire content linked to both in the description and at the end. Speaking of the description, link to my Twitter is there, link to my merch is there, including my awesome Hashirama merch, and link to my Patreon is there. All patrons are invited to the Discord server, and it would be very appreciated if you go check them out. Speaking of appreciated, thanks to the patrons that already pledged. The Swag Hoggers, Sage of Snake, Lazy Ronin, JD Fincher, E Laser, Sash, Axel, Rari, MDQ, Zindergarten, Christopher Something, Miku, TM Philly, and someone in Kanji. The Lord Tweegers, Grumpy Welshman, Tyler Schumacher, Zombie Misha, and Large Blab, and the God Usopp Rank, Zachary Wheatley, Dark Element, Yokai, and Morris. Thank you all so much for pledging. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm sure you can't even believe that I actually got to doing my honest descriptions on the Hokage so Brilliant. promptly after I said I would. <laughs> it's been like, what, 10 minutes? Anyway, I hope the honest descriptions on the Kage 
Hokage will come sooner. Don't forget to keep memeing that you want the honest descriptions on the Hokage, because if you stop memeing it, <laughs> I will be disappointed. Have yourself a most wonderful evening, and remember to stay weird, fam. Will do. <laughs> that was brilliant. <laughs> the um Kakashi bit was just genius. <laughs> he could destroy the plot. <laughs> oh my god, the honest anime descriptions from Lux is just they're amazing. It's so good. Absolutely awesome. I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh man. Oh god. Da, da, da. Right, anyway. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Thank you guys very much for watching. <laughs> what did you guys think of that? What did you guys think of this? Click like, subscribe if you haven't already. <clears throat> Just really bit my tongue. Leave comments down below. Let me know why you're watching discussing future videos. And I'll see you guys. Yes, all of you guys. Next time.